happy monday weekly vlog 50 we're nearly at a year guys a year of weekly vlogging i'm just gonna put this down to see if it makes any difference to where i look on this camera we're nearly at a year on weekly vlogging that is insane can you believe it i've literally loved it i'm definitely going to continue for another year maybe many more years who knows but it's something that I've really, really loved, really enjoyed. I feel like I've grown as a person <clears throat> since weekly vlogging and stuff. And I love the fact that I can look back on my year and see what's happened and everything. And obviously next year is going to be massively different for me. Like, can you believe it? When I started this weekly vlogging thing, sat in my car a year ago in the car park. And when I hit a year on weekly vlogging, I'll be moving to London. What? Like, so much has happened this year. It's insane. Crazy. But also, since I announced that... Announced. Since I, like, told everyone that I was moving, my social life has seriously, like, skyrocketed. I've never had so many people contact me being like, oh, I need to see you. I'm like, people do actually like me. I'm busy, like, every night this week apart from tonight. So tomorrow I'm out with Chris. That was my idea. Chris, uh, m myself, my mum and my brother are going out for dinner. Wednesday I'm going out for dinner. Thursday I'm seeing a friend and then I'm doing some packing because I haven't started and I need to start organising what I'm taking and what I'm not. And then Friday I'm seeing a friend after work as well, which I'm really looking forward to. That's going to be a nice catch up I think. So I'm like, what? Like no one, I've never had this many people like want to see me, it's crazy. I'm not complaining, I'm definitely enjoying it, but yeah, I'm like, I want to see everybody but also I've got loads to do, like I've got so much to pack, it's unreal. <laughs> it's about 25 past 9 and I'm 100% going to bed right now. I'm so tired, I know it's because I slept so bad last night. Um, I woke up like out of the covers upside down, cuddling the cat, <laughs> have a sad life. Um, but I slept so bad, like I remember seeing 1am and I was up at half six so yeah I've been really tired all day so I'm just going to go to bed and put a film on and just probably fall asleep to the film. I think I need like a proper long good night's sleep so I'll speak to you in the morning. Lenny, my hair's driving me nuts at the moment, like it's just, what what is it? <laughs> It's so annoying. Like it's fine on the day it's been washed, but on the second day it just literally does absolutely nothing I want it to, no matter what I do with it. But I don't want to have to wash it every single day. It's driving me absolutely crazy. If you have any like tips on good second day hair styles, please leave them below or like link videos and stuff because I'm really struggling. And I hate like, I don't really like tidy hair, but then like, because my hair's so thin, it looks really weird and messy, like hairstyles, because there's not really enough hair to do it. Does that make sense? <sighs> anyway, I'm really hot today. I think it's going to be a really hot day. Very cloudy still though, but I'm like sweating, but I don't know if it's just because I put the straighteners through my hair, but yeah. <laughs> today dragged so bad. It was so slow. Like I wasn't bored or anything, but it just went really, really slowly. <sighs> also it's really hot in my car um i'm now off home to go pick up mother hen and then we are off to frank and benny's to go and meet chris there to have dinner i'm so excited i don't know what i fancy to eat though i don't know what i want i feel like i really want some garlic bread though so i might have garlic bread and i might treat myself to a dessert because frank and benny's desserts are like really really good really good i also need a powder i feel a bit greasy today <laughs> I didn't bring anything with me. I should have brought like my makeup bag, but I didn't. Anyway, let's go boom. Super quickly, just got changed. I've put on my Lee jeans. These are really old sandals. I've had these for such a long time. They're really annoying though, because they don't stay on my heel, but they look cute, so we'll make it work. And then again, this really old, like way oversized t-shirt with um, tigers on. And little pockets, it's really cute. And then I'm just gonna take my orange bag. For a pop of colour and it matches my toenails. <laughs> Let's go get food. <laughs> Strongest mojito I've ever had in my life. I think it's pure rum with like 
slices of lemon and that's it. Lemon, lime. I don't know if you heard what I said when I was in there, but that was the strongest mojito I've ever had in my life. Like, I think it was pure rum with some mint leaves and lime. It was so strong. So, uh, mum's driving, which she's very chuffed about because she likes driving my car. It feels really weird being in the passenger seat of this car. I don't actually think I've been in the passenger seat of this car. Where's your lights button? There, dear. Oh, it's on, on. It's on your stick. Yeah. I could tell you, had a drink. Really? Yes! <laughs> Which way do I go? Does it matter? Pure rum. Follow the arrows. I can't see any arrows. Chris has asked me to go into Zara tomorrow to find, he had a jacket just like this one in a navy blue and he's lost it. We don't know how, like, he remembers bringing it back from LA but he doesn't think he took it to the wedding. I'm pretty sure he didn't take it to the wedding but I don't know about LA so whatever, he's lost it. So he's asked me to go into Zara tomorrow to try and find another one. So it's identical to this so he's given me this one so I know what to look for. I really want this jacket, like I'm tempted to just steal it from him and pretend that I've lost it and keep it. Because I really like it. <laughs> Shall I? No. I don't think I'll get away. Good morning. Did any of you hear the storm last night? Or see the storm last night? Or take any pictures of the storm last night? Because I didn't. I slept through the whole thing. But it's just because I've been so tired. As soon as I got into bed last night, I fell asleep. Which is a good thing. I had a good night's sleep, I think, last night. So I'm not complaining about that. But it's a horrible morning, it's very wet. It's not raining, but we clearly had a lot of rain last night. <laughs> but I'm off for dinner again tonight. What a social life I have at the moment. I'm going to Strada with um, Hannah and some of the other girls that we used to work with back in the day, all those years ago when we both first started. So that would be nice to go and see them. And I'm looking forward to Strada because it's really good. Like the food at Strada is so good. If you haven't been, go. <laughs> It's currently 20 past 12 and I'm still awake. I'd say it because I can't sleep but that would be a lie because I haven't actually tried to sleep yet. I've just kind of been laying on my bed, scrolling through Twitter, playing on Snapchat, wasting my life. <laughs> Does anyone else do that when they just like get in their comfort clothes and sit on their bed and then pay no attention to what time is. I don't even know if this clip would count as still Wednesday or whether this is technically Thursday now. Don't know. I haven't slept yet so it is Wednesday still in my brain. But time wise it's Thursday. Oh, I know what I can show you. Is it weird? Would it be weird to show you the new brows that I bought today? Is that an odd thing to do? I don't know. I'm going to do it anyway. What did you do at 25 past midnight on the 20th of July? Oh, I just showed the internet my new bras. Look at this. How pretty is that? These are from Victoria's Secret, pink. And I saw this one ages ago and I really liked it. But they didn't have my size. So I went back in today and was like, please tell me you have my size in that bra. And they did. Here it is. Isn't it cute? I have underwear to match. Look, see? Pretty. I also got this bra because they were on two for £32. So I got this one too. With like, it's like a wider band. I thought that was really cool. I've got two pairs of knickers to match that one. I've got these ones. Cool. And I've got some lacy ones. Cool. And then the knickers were on five for £28. So I got some manky nude ones because you never know when they might come in handy. And some nice black ones. Just because. That was my underwear haul from Victoria's Secret. Did you enjoy that? I really like those bras though, by the way. If you haven't tried Victoria's Secret um, bras before, you really should because they're very, very comfortable. And especially at the moment because they've got those sort of bras, or most a lot of their bras on for £18 each, or like two for those two, that sort of thing. And then their knickers are all on 
five for twenty-eight pounds, and they're ten pound fifty each. Ten pound fifty each for knickers. It's ridiculous in my book, but whatever. Um, so yeah, go and check out Victoria's Secret if you haven't already. Um, I'm gonna go to bed now. <laughs> Night. <laughs> I want to show you what I did yesterday because I didn't vlog anything. But I started organising through my wardrobe, which I'll show you in a second. And like, I've got rid of so much stuff. Like, I needed a good clear out anyway. So this has kind of been a good push. And then I was like, my new room is quite small. So I was like, I need to create like cute corners in it so it can still look really sweet. So I've done this. It's just like playing around with what I've got. And here I'm going to put a candle rather than having this. But how sweet is that? And I haven't got room for a bedside table in my new room, so I've got my light here. And then little Foxy. Um, I want to get a succulent for here, like a cactus or something like that. Um, I've got my aloe vera, my peace lily. Little Fox, obviously this isn't going to be there. But yeah, and then down here I'm going to keep my laptop and stuff there. But how cute does that look? I love it. It's so sweet. I seriously love like interior design and everything so I get so excited when I can redesign stuff and then um, well at some point I'm going, I've got two of these shelves in my new room so I'm going to use, I'm going to take everything off of there and like plan them out as two shelves and then take pictures of them so I can see how I want them to be when I get there. Is that really sad? Probably, but I really enjoy it. Like I love interior design and like planning how things are going to sit and stuff because how sweet does that look? I love it. I am going to leave a little bit earlier today because Hannah and I want to go and try out a new like cafe thing that's opened in Cambridge. I don't know how to say it. I think it's Saboro or Saboro. I don't know, but it's a new Japanese place that does like yogurt pots, like baguette. There's just so much. It's insane. And we want to go and try everything because from like the 17th till Sunday, it's the 23rd, it's like half price on all food. So that is the time to try new food when it's half price. So I'm going to leave a little bit earlier so that we can go and get some breakfast and then tonight after work I am going to an old school friend's for some dinner and a catch up and a little chat which should be really nice and um, she contacted me a few days ago uh, after watching my vlog and stuff and which was so sweet like honestly if you what is that? <laughs> If you've sent me a message at all, um, if you know me, we went to school together and stuff, and you've sent me any messages and stuff, seriously, it means so much to me, you have no idea. Like, when I would get a message from someone that I know that is, like, saying something about the vlog or, like, in general, just kind of cares about the situations that are going on in my life right now, it means so much to me. Like, you seriously make my day, so thank you to anyone that has ever sent me a message over the last two years no a year I've been, I've been vlogging a year next week but obviously the vlogs are a few weeks behind because I had a few weeks off a few months ago so the vlogs are behind on my year but technically I've been vlogging a year next week insane insane I need to go to work now it's very sunny and I don't know whether to take a jacket or not because I've got short sleeves on I get cold pretty easy. Hmm. I don't know. I forgot to show you what's going to charity. All of this. So much stuff. There's two bin bags full of clothes. There's like five pairs of shoes. I just love how cute this is. So I was an absolute idiot today and left my purse here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes, you can. Yep. Um, that was in there since the garden centre yesterday. So all night sat there and then I got to work today and obviously me and Hannah went to get breakfast and I was like, definitely don't have my purse. <laughs> So annoying. So let's take that out there, shall we? Should we put it straight into my bag? Yes, we shall. And now I'm gonna go and see my friend, which so it should have quite a nice evening, I think. I hope. Um, she said she's making spaghetti and meatballs, so I'm so excited because I'm really hungry. By the way, Saboro, whatever it's called, highly recommend. We had sausage in a bun, 
and I also got like a chocolate yogurt pot with granola on top and it was so good the creamiest yogurt I've ever had it was so good I highly recommend um, and the prices weren't that bad I know it was half price today but even so like even before that the prices are really good so highly recommend if you were in the Cambridge area because I think it's the only one like it's the first and only one right now um, and it's in Cambridge and it is on Petit Curie so opposite Wasabi if you don't know where that is so yeah I highly recommend but I am gonna go and see my friend yeah. well this morning was a serious struggle if you can't tell from my face I'm extremely tired um, I didn't get in until like half 12 last night stayed way later than planned but I had such a nice evening so thank you Miley if you're watching I had a really really nice evening it's nice to just sometimes catch up with people isn't it like if even if you there's people in your lives that you don't speak to like at all or hardly ever or anything like that like sometimes just a nice catch up like reminiscing on the past my blusher looks extreme today my face looks weird it's just really nice and it puts it put me in such a good mood yeah but today is going to be a struggle because i'm so tired i didn't get into bed till midnight midnight no i was still at her house midnight i didn't get into bed till one um i snoozed seven times this morning it was a struggle but this is saturday and i'm still on time because it's like it's a hair up day so hair up days are a lot easier and faster than hair wash days <laughs> I do have to complete a day at work today, so let's go. You should come to £16.60. Okay. So you give him the, the 40p and a pound. Okay. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Actually, we won't come, but I didn't. <laughs> I've just found the belt that I couldn't find this morning. <laughs> you just told the vlog that you needed the loo. Yeah. I think he's here. Don't pee yet. Mum ordered Chinese. Fit it! Yeah. Don't get then. Alright then. It's been a miserable day today, isn't it? It's rained all day. Like Cambridge was getting flooded. It rained so much. It's so bad. Mum's ordered Chinese. I'm very excited to eat it. Let's get plates. And then I need to edit the status in the vlog. Also, my can is having a little adventure today. My 600D, after not being used for months, um, a friend of mine has borrowed it for the night. So she's getting a little outing, which will be nice for her. Yeah, so now I just need to eat some food, edit the vlog. And I'm going to try and have an early night tonight because I didn't sleep great last night. I always take my Chinese one chicken ball too far. I'm so full. I've just had hiccups and indigestion. That's not fun. Um, I finished editing the vlog already. It took me like 45 minutes and it's only 20 minutes long, like not even 20 minutes long. It's the shortest vlog I've done in a very, very long time. And it's only half past eight. So I'm gonna make the most of that. I'm gonna upload the vlog. I'm gonna have a bubble bath and I'm gonna go to bed and just sleep. From watching all my clips though while editing, it's been a very mellow week. Like I've come across quite mellow and quiet my week hasn't really been like that it's been quite a fun exciting week so i don't really know why i've come across like that but i definitely have um so apologies if you found this weekly vlog boring and found my midnight chats about bras a bit bizarre um that was a weird clip wasn't it this is what happens when cara gets really tired and just is up at midnight she she i kind of ramble about weird things and don't really know what i'm saying <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys who like a shorter vlog enjoyed this week's vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to leave me a comment down below. What should I ask you this time? Do you still talk to any of your school friends? And if so, like, how far back do they go? Are they, like, primary school friends, college friends, like, secondary school? Like, how far back does your friendship group go? And do you still talk to any of your friends? Because I really, I barely talk to any of my school friends. I've got um, my best friend Bethany, who I've literally known years and years and years and years and years. Like we've been best friends for years. Um, and then apart from that, it's very like spontaneous and sparse. From when I talk to other old school friends, um, I'm very much like focused about who's in my life right now, like my work friends and stuff. Um, obviously, I lost quite a big friendship 
group kind of thing when Daniel and I broke up. I feel like anyway, I feel like a lot of my friends were our friends, so I've kind of, I feel like I've kind of lost them, and I'm having to kind of almost start again, which is why I'm excited for London, because I'm going to get to meet loads of new people, and hopefully make some good new strong friendships, and obviously I've got Pippa Indigestion, who's an amazing friend for me right now, so yeah, that was another little ramble there, wasn't it? What was the question? Let me know if you still talk to any of your school friends. Really hope you enjoyed the vlog and I will see you next week. I love you. Bye-bye.